Okay, Mr. Pete, this is a uh, video showing you my variable frequency drive. Now, this came with my lathe, so I, I didn't build this, uh, so I'm not familiar with every aspect of it. Um, but this was basically put together by Automation Direct, uh, from what I understand uh, from the guy I purchased the lathe from. So, what we have here is uh, the same potentiometer setup that you got from Radio Shack. And this is all inside an enclosed box here. Um, and there's a nice printed label. I'm not sure where, where he got this from, 0 to 100%. And then we have a, uh, a two position switch for forward and reverse. And the uh, middle is obviously in the off position. And this switch from Automation Direct is uh, model number GCX one three zero zero okay and when you get it from automation direct if you were to buy that part number you would only have one contact just for a single switch uh, you could choose forward or reverse forward but if you purchase another ECX one zero four zero that is uh, that's another one of these momentary switches you can screw it into the back of this uh, aluminum bracket here and you'll have another position for the switch you'll have the reverse okay and how this is wired okay you can see the jumper here these are both going to ground if you follow this green tabbed wire all the way back around here you'll come back to the last tab on the bottom of my VFD and that is common uh, for ground and it's soldered together with the common that goes back over here to the 5k pot okay so uh, for the forward switch we follow the blue wire that's the the right side contact for mine because that's the way I'm switching it okay so uh, for this side follow the blue wire and we come back around to terminal D11 which is the first D terminal after you get like R1, R10, plus 10 volt AI, which uh, these are, this is what's going, the plus 10 in the AI, that's what's going back over to your, uh, to your pot that controls the speed. Okay, so D, D11 to common, that completes the circuit for forward. And then D12, which is this orange wire that comes around to the right side, a momentary switch. So that completes to ground. D12 to ground gives me reverse. So forward, D11 to ground, reverse, D12 to ground. And uh, also, there are a couple other things. Let's see. I'll, I'll, let me zoom you in a little bit here. Okay, also on my variable frequency drive, okay, uh, this is in the on position and, and I'm controlling by the, the pot out here, just like you would, and it's displaying just like yours does. But temporarily, if I would like to look at a different portion of the display, and these are programmable, so uh, yours may be similar, uh, if I press the display button, that gives me an RPM reading of the motor. Oops. Okay, so if I were... That's approximately... Yeah, there we are at 60 RPM and it's like 1725. That's halfway on my switch. Okay, so we can read the motor RPM there. And you can program that to read a different range. Or if I press display here again, that's again reading the frequency. Display again gives me the amperage okay uh, one full amp or 1.1 amps through here is the quarter horsepower or whatever okay so you can see it pull up there and uh, this actually helps me do a few things I can tune in okay I can tune in a particular cut if I have to take a bunch of roughing cuts either I could calculate it all out and know how much it's gonna 
or you could listen to the machine or you can just press the display here not only holds this display temporarily in a minute it'll pop back to the frequency I think it defaults there but uh, I can like when I was uh, tightening up the headstock bolts after I adjusted the shims I ran the machine in and I watched the amperage rating and I, I fiddled with the torque on the headstock bolts until I there wasn't any resistance because you can't hear it but you could see it on the display it would pop up from point 0.8 to point 0.9 so I would loosen the bolt just a little bit until I dropped down to point 0.9 and so even though I had dialed everything in with a dial indicator uh, to get the run out at, at the face of the chuck uh, I still was able to dial in the clearance and the resistance of the machine so uh, there are a few other features to this drive that maybe you might want to take advantage of but uh, at any rate here was the wiring of it um, like I said this box here is really nice I don't know if you can see my grubby hands got all over here from touching this I really tried to clean it up I had to take a minute and clean this whole box up for you guys because it was not appropriate for TV but uh, this is definitely why you want to put it in an enclosure because this is a sensitive device there are microchips in it and you don't want your greasy grimy shop hands all over it so uh, alright I hope you like it